In our last video, we explored Quantum Radar, the astonishing new technology that can spot stealth aircraft using entangled photons. But what if I told you that the same quantum principles could let us detect submarines deep underwater, locate tunnels beneath the Earth, and even map the inside of a volcano, without ever touching it? This is the strange and powerful world of quantum sensors. It begins, like so many revolutions, in the silence of a laboratory. Inside a vacuum chamber, atoms hover motionless, chilled to within a whisper of absolute zero. Lasers dance across the chamber, coaxing the atoms into precise quantum states. These atoms aren't just floating there for show. They are sensors, arguably the most sensitive ones humanity has ever created. Because when you observe the universe using quantum mechanics, the rules are very different. Conventional sensors, like gyroscopes, magnetometers, and accelerometers, measure forces and fields using bulk materials. A classic example, an aircraft's inertial navigation system, which uses mechanical or optical gyros to track motion when GPS fails. But over time, errors accumulate. Drifts happen. Precision fades. Quantum sensors don't drift. They don't guess. They read the universe directly. Take a quantum accelerometer. Instead of measuring movement with spinning masses or lasers bouncing between mirrors, it tracks how ultra-cold atoms fall, literally falling under the pull of gravity. According to quantum theory, every atom behaves like a wave. And as that wave moves through space and time, it interferes with itself in measurable ways. By observing the interference pattern of these atom waves, scientists can detect motion, acceleration, or changes in gravity with astonishing accuracy, down to a fraction of a billionth of a g. Now imagine embedding that sensor inside a submarine. No need to surface. No need for GPS. A quantum navigation system could tell the vessel exactly where it is, anywhere on Earth, with no external signals. It would be unjammable, untrackable, and always aware. But quantum sensors don't stop there. They can also detect gravitational anomalies. This means they can peer underground and identify what's hidden, without digging, drilling, or touching the surface. Imagine a soldier standing in a field. Beneath the soil, 50 meters down, lies a concealed tunnel. With conventional tools, it might go unnoticed. But a quantum gravity sensor, scanning the ground, would notice something subtle, a change in local gravitational pull. A tiny dip. A gap. The absence of mass, and that's all it needs. Already, companies like Quantum Gravity Sensors Limited in the UK are testing prototypes capable of detecting underground infrastructure, pipes, bunkers, and even ancient archaeological ruins, without disturbing the ground at all. The UK Ministry of Defence has even funded research into field-deployable quantum gravimeters for battlefield awareness. But perhaps the most dramatic demonstration comes from the sea. Submarines are designed to be invisible. Their entire purpose is to hide in the vast acoustic silence of the ocean. Sonar is the traditional tool to find them, but sonar can be blocked, scattered, or absorbed. A quantum magnetometer, however, works differently. Because every submarine has metal. Every submarine produces tiny magnetic disturbances. With ultra-sensitive quantum sensors, based on atomic spin states or nitrogen vacancy centers in diamonds, those disturbances can be picked up from surprising distances. In theory, a network of quantum sensors could track submarines without pinging them. No sound. No emissions. Just silent detection. The implications are enormous. 
Quantum sensors could map underground facilities, monitor earthquakes before they happen, even track nuclear activity from far away. One day, they might scan for hidden weapons, detect ghostly gravitational waves from black holes, or image the brain in exquisite detail, without ever cutting it open. But as always, there are challenges. Quantum systems are delicate. They need shielding from vibrations, heat, electromagnetic interference. They often require cryogenic cooling, ultra-high vacuum, or specialized lasers. Making them rugged enough for field use, in combat zones, at sea, or in orbit, is still an engineering mountain. Yet it's a mountain many are racing to climb. The U.S. Department of Defense, DARPA, the European Space Agency, and China's Academy of Sciences have all invested heavily in quantum sensing research. Portable gravimeters, quantum compasses, entanglement-based field sensors, they're all being developed, tested, and quietly deployed. Because in the wars of tomorrow, seeing the enemy may not mean seeing them with light. It may mean sensing the ripple of their mass, the tug of their gravity, or the spin of their magnetic field. It may mean watching the invisible through the quantum lens. If you found this story fascinating, go ahead and like this video. It really helps us keep creating these deep science explorations. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next episode, where we'll uncover the secrets of quantum communication, how it could make our internet unhackable, and why governments are racing to control it. Because in the quantum world, information isn't just transmitted, it's entangled. And the truth is always deeper than what we see.